This is Carlos Mercado. He's uh, now four years old. He was born premature at 34 weeks, and at that time he had a ventricular septal ah. defect. He had respiratory and gastrointestinal mm -hmm. abnormalities. He was diagnosed with a trisomy 8P and an agenesis of his corpus callosum. They told his mother that he would never see, he would never talk, he would never walk, and he would always be a vegetable. The current model of osteopathy that's now being taught is a biodynamic state where we're treating from the future and bringing it to the present, meaning we want the result that we want in the present to ultimately come to the state where it would be in the future. The way that osteopathy has been taught before, which is biomechanically, and now it's not. Since Dr. Villanova and Philip have been working on Carlos, we've noticed a great improvement every time they treat him. His movements are getting better, and at first he was not able to sit up, and now he is. I know that in my experience with osteopathy, you have to reach a certain degree of spirituality before you can do it efficiently. It is taught on a biomechanical model, but the osteopaths that I know that are effective are spiritual people. Before Dr. Villanueva and Philip treated him, he was like a vegetable. He would just lie there with his hands and his legs spread out. And would not move. He was not able to go to the bathroom and he would not move. He would not be able to roll on his side, either side. He's now able to move both hands and arms, and he's able to distinguish which arm to move. He knows what his left is now and his right is now, and he smiles a lot now. <laughs> and he's talking more now. I see myself as a servant, as someone giving service to people that are in pain. Emotions link you to your soul, so God uses me as an instrument. Grabbing the cups by himself now and drinking off the cups by himself. He fights with mom all the time. When she's trying to feed him, he was not able to get the food in his mouth. She was, um, whenever she tried to feed him, and now he's able to. He wipes his mouth by himself. Hi. 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 Carlos can currently say a few words, and he does sing. He has use of his arms and his legs, and he now knows when to use his right and left side. He's almost to the point where he can track, and he grasps. He can feed himself to a certain extent. This country, and globally, is dying. Spiritually, this country is dead. And what I do is... I tap into the inherent healing mechanism of each person and I try to bring their soul back to God. It's something I suppose I was born with and half of it is what I was born with and half of it is what has been taught. Half of what I do is prayer. Most people that I treat are so lost and when they ask me initially what they should do, I teach them how to pray. I believe that every disease has an emotional basis to it. And unless that emotional basis is treated, you will not take care of the pathology. I cannot help them with their physical complaint until I treat their emotional and spiritual level. In an essence, the reason my prices are so high is because I sell a piece of God. A piece of God. A piece of God. A piece of God.